Hi chemists, we are more than halfway through the unit. This is insane how fast it went. In this video, we will talk about how to name and formulate for acids. Again, we will be able to identify polyatomic and monatomic ions, name them properly, and write chemical formulas and names for acids. You can identify an acid because an acid is an ionic compound that contains H plus 1 as their cation. However, acids are named based on their anion. If your anion ends in "-ide", then you will change the acid to hydroblankic acid. The root name of the anion goes there, and so you just remove the IDE ending. For example, if you look at H2S, notice that the S is called sulfide. S minus 2 is the anion. So therefore, you would call it hydrosulfuric acid. Very commonly, students will call it hydrosulfic acid. And again, it's just because students aren't used to the naming convention and the, and the vocabulary that we use. But as long as you try your best and you include the proper ending, I can't imagine your teacher marking it wrong. Here's another one. If your anion ends in 8, then you will change it to blank ic acid. So for example, with H2SO4, SO4 is called sulfate. So you would call this sulfuric acid. And then finally, if the anion ends in it, you would call it blank us acid. And so if you look at this one, this is called sulfite. Since the ending is it, you would call it sulfurous acid. Here are some mnemonic devices that will help you remember. So for example, eight something icky. What this is telling you is that if the anion ends in eight, then you are going to change it to blank ick acid. Or gingivite us. Again, if the name of your anion ends in it, you are going to change the, en the ending for the acid to us. Hopefully that will help you remember. You can also formula rate by using the reverse to determine the anion and balance out the charges for a neutral compound. So for example, notice this is hydrophosphoric acid. All acids contain H plus 1 as the cation, and that's really valuable information as you write your formula. You need to ask yourself, what was the original ending? And so since we're talking about this hydrophosphoric, notice there's hydro in front and ick at the end, that must tell us that our original ending was ied, and therefore we must be talking about the phosphide anion. Because of that, H is going to be plus one, phosphorus is minus three, we are going to need a total of three hydrogens, and therefore we will end up with H3P. Here's another example. Again, ask yourself the question, what must the original anion have been if it's called chromic acid? This is also handy with the eight something icky mnemonic. So if we're talking about ick, the original ending must have been eight, so we must be talking about the chromate ion. So in this case, it'll be H with a plus one, CrO4 with a minus two. We will need a second hydrogen, and the acid will be H2CrO4. This is chlorous acid. This is where gingivite, us, will come in. So if the ending right now is us, it, the original anion must have been it. And so therefore, we are talking about chlorite. H has a plus one, and ClO2 has a minus one, so it'll be HClO2. So that is how you name acids. I hope you had an easier time naming these. And as usual, practice will be provided so you can get really good at this. Thank you so much for watching.